His work rate surpassed that of the founding partner of the firm. His excellency was very high. An elderly person resident out in near the office once asked whether he did not have a bed at home because he frequently saw him in the office late at night and at dawn from the bedroom window, from her bedroom window. He insisted on paying the, the attention to detail, clearly stated legal positions, and in this pursuit, legal documents went through various drafts. Pro bono work was very important to him, and he instilled in the juniors the value of giving back to society through work for the poor, indigent persons who had good legal cases. The issues on the delimitation of the maritime boundaries between Ghana and Cote d'Ivoire ended up in a legal dispute and the special chamber of the international law of the sea. The decision was favorable to Ghana and therefore the country can exploit hydrocarbon and other resources within the dispute area. Antonio Kumtumpa was a member of the legal team that represented the country in the international arbitration of the dispute. His good work was duly recognized by the states and in March 2023, he was awarded the, Na the National Honours of Order of the Volta, Companion Division. Sheshe had a love for good music, especially African jazz, and enjoyed nightlife of Accra. It was, always, it was always a joy to ride in his car on a long journey with his car with sound system belting out old and contemporary American jazz and African music. His departure from this transitory world is painful and a huge loss to our firm, the legal profession in Ghana, freedom of speech and expression, media rights, human rights advocacy, and the extension of the frontiers of constitutional law in Ghana. Yawodjubba, Sheshe, may the soil rest peacefully on you. Thank you. Founding partner and the President of our Republic, Nana Adudankwa Akufuado.
dearly beloved, the moot court preceded by the election petition committee. behalf of the presidential election petition team. Great men die and leave their footprints an indelible mark in the sands of time. You have played your role. The labor's task is over. And here we lie our brother sleeping. It is with a lot of fond memories and, of course, very deep sense of loss and grief that we pay this tribute to our friend, brother, colleague, and uncle. Indeed, his humanity and the life he led has wrapped on almost all of us who associated with him in one way or the other. If there is any man, or for that matter, lawyer, who lived displayed and exhibited such distinctive independence of mind and thought in most, if not all, of his decisions, then is the only one and irresistible Shea de Shea. Shea de Shea graduated with the Bachelor of Law with the Bachelor of Laws degree from the University of Ghana Legon in the year nineteen seventy three when most of us had barely been born. But his striking humility in the practice and knowledge of the law was obvious for all to emulate. Akoto, as some of us fondly called him, was not given to ostentation and, and, and boastfulness. He was a teacher and a good listener. Our path as lawyers was to cross as fate will have it when we were assembled to conduct Handle and put in a strong case and defense for His Excellency the President of the Republic, Nana Adodankwa Akufuado, in the presidential election petitions of 2013 and 2020, respectively. She was an integral and, dis and indispensable member of the 2013 Liga team and lead counsel of the 2020 team. His thoughtfulness, legal acumen, and piercing pension for detail was brought to bear on both briefs. In fact, his analytical mind, passion for research, and long forays into the dark results of the night to ensure we met our deadlines was amazing and a huge sense of inspiration to the team. As the cliche will have it, he left no stone unturned and gave nothing to chance or good luck. In all of this, he still remained his humble self but we couldn't take his innate humility for granted because Akuto, Akuto was firm in principle and would definitely tell you as it is if you dared cross his path in a bad way. Even though he was much older than all of us, he took in suggestions from the most junior in the team and would readily embrace all shares of opinion on the point of law. Indeed, such was his character trait, unassuming, respectful, accommodating, and a remarkable gentleman. Akoto, you have, Anthony, sorry, you have imparted greatly on all of us, especially Gabriel, sorry, Gabi Asari Ochidako, the indisputable research assistant. You had a fine, sharp, and thorough mind, and did not hold that to yourself alone. You tutored and mentored so many generations of lawyers. When your health took a dive in the last couple of years, we prayed fervently to the good Lord to grant you speedy relief, but it was not to be. You inevitably succumbed to death as it showed the way of all mortals. Your loss is irreplaceable, but we take consolation in the scriptures that God knows best and in his own time, takes away from us what he had gladly given to us. 
Toby, Amaga, Nyabro, rest in perfect peace until the very last day of the resurrection when we shall all rise in glory. Fed you all. You lived a legend and has died a legend. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Let all manner of persons having anything to do with the administration of justice in this country draw nigh. Remain seated and attentive whilst His Lordship, Mr. Justice AAPC Kwakwadrum, administers justice to his countrymen and women without fear or favor. Your Lordship, case number one. Motion number 73 slash 2023. OT Development Bank versus Lulobi Farmers Association. Any representation? If it pleases my lord, I appear for the applicant. My name is Ya Jacobo. If it pleases my lord, my name is Sarah Fafakudu. I appear for the respondent. What is the business for the day? Counsel for the applicant. My lord, the application before you is stay for execution pending the determination of the appeal against the judgment made by this honorable court. There's one decision of the high court by Justice Ajabing as he then was, which I'm looking for but yet to find. I'm told Anthony Akotuampau Esquire made strong arguments in that case, which persuaded the then Justice Ajabin to rule in his favor. I have an appointment with Anthony Akotuampau Esquire to pick a copy of the judgment, which is unreported. Kindly indulge me for one week. Very well. I accept your explanation. I will grant the last adjournment and the applicant must be prepared to conduct his case at the next adjournment date if counsel is absent. The case is adjourned to 20th December 2023. Suit number 1512 slash 2023. Sal versus Adan. Any representation? May you please this court, Nicholas Lennon Anani AJ. I appear for the plaintiff. May you please, Honorable Court, my name is Andrew Apau Obin. My Lord, I appear for the defendant. Yes, what is the position now? My, my Lord, Lord, we argued the plenary point raised by the defendant as to whether the Electoral Commission can be restrained by interlocutory injunction from exercising its statutory discretionary powers. Yes, counsel for the plaintiff, you said you were going to furnish me with an authority that affirms your position that the Electoral Commission can be restrained when exercising its statutory discretionary powers. What happened? My Lord, I stated on the last agenda date that the position of the law was enunciated in a case that Anthony Akoto Ampau Esquire was involved. I sent one of my juniors to him and he has promised to furnish me with a citation. I believe that case is a compelling precedent. It is therefore necessary to adjourn for me to get the authority. I'm not inclined to grant any further adjournment. Respected lawyer Anthony Akoto Ampau, who with permission I fondly called Sheshe, was in my court last week. 
and I got the citation from him. I have read the authority and I've made up my mind on the preliminary points raised by court. The Electoral Commission is the only body clothed with constitutional authority to create constituencies on Article 47 of the Constitution. Clauses 2, 3, and 4 thereof have prescribed the modalities for creating the constituencies. The plaintiff is of the view that in exercising this power to create constituencies, the Electoral Commission did not comply with certain requirements, and he therefore mounted this action for the remedies set out in the writ. He seeks to invoke the original jurisdiction of this court for an order of perpetual injunction. On the back of that relief, he is before me praying for an order of interlocutory injunction. I hereby hold that the Electoral Commission can be restrained by an order of interlocutory injunction when performing its statutory functions. However, given the facts before the court, if the interlocutory application by the plaintiff succeeds here and the defendants are restrained from doing what has been complained against them, but the plaintiff fails in the substantive action, the injury caused the nation will be irreparable. The national electioneering program for the year would grind to an abrupt halt. The balance of convenience tilts in favor of the defendants and therefore the application for interlocutory injunction ought to fail. The additional reason is that granting the application would cause more harm to the nation as a whole than the plaintiff. Next case. Civil appeal number one slash 2003. Quena versus Vanderpoy. Any representation? With the greatest of respect, my lord, my name is Dr. Frederick Buama, and I appear for the respondent. Yes, counsel. My lord, I wish to pray for a short adjournment. I was entrusted with this brief by our office manager less than an hour ago. I am informed that my senior has just been taken ill and cannot make it to court. I need time to study the record of appeal in order to make meaningful submissions in this appeal. Counsel Anthony Akutuampa Esquire is on record as counsel for the appellant. I recall on the last agenda date, he completed his submissions for and on behalf of the appellant. Giving a specific date will be a problem since it might turn out not to be good for him. It is strange that he has still not shown up. This is unusual of him, and I'm wondering if I should stand down the case for an hour. He is prompt and punctual in court, and I'm surprised he is not here, though we all agreed to this time. My Lord, hmm. I must be a bearer of bad news. It has just come to my attention that through a notice posted by lawyer Kweku Esrifi on the Greater Accra Lawyers WhatsApp platform that my learned friend, Antonia Kutampao Esquire, has just been elevated to practice in the high court above. Oh, this indeed is news of good import. Let this matter and all others stand adjourned, Sinidae, while we do honor to an elevated member. May we have a word of prayer from the good book. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Write, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from henceforth. Yes, saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works to follow them. Amen. May the choir assist us to recess whilst we proceed to pay homage to the president.
Now the laborer's task is over the first and the last stanza. Media let us say, the more kwa baba abi express.com. Abi express.com, the media, yeah, 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 ye
Chiriho. 